Welcome to Jumbo. What I'd like to do is show you how to uh, solve this uh, inequality. And basically when we have solve an inequality, we want to get the x's to the same side. And what we can see if we have a problem here is one, I have an x on the left side, x on the right side. And what's even more difficult is I have an x on the left side inside of a fraction and there's a fraction. Dang fractions. So what we need to do is we need to, um, before we get rid of the fractions, let's go ahead and get rid of the parentheses. Um, actually, you know what? Let's actually get rid of the fractions first. So to do that, I'm going to multiply everything by 3. So when I multiply by 3, notice that this is a product. So when I multiply, I'm just going to multiply this whole product. But I need to multiply both of these terms since these terms are separated by addition. These are only separated by multiplication, so I can separate them on that. So 3 times 2 thirds, the 3's divide out. So I'm left with 2 times x minus 12. I do not divide, multiply the 3 inside this um, parentheses. And that's less than or equal to 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 8 is a positive 24. Now I can apply distributive property here. So I get 2x minus 24 is less than or equal to 3x plus 24. Now I need to get the x's to the same side. So what I'm going to do is I'll subtract 3x here. Subtract 3x. And so therefore I have negative x minus 24 is less than or equal to positive 24. Add 24 plus 24. I have negative x is less than or equal to 48. Divide by negative 1. Divide by negative 1. Now remember, when you're dividing by negative 1, you've got to make sure you flip the sign. So I have positive x is greater than or equal to a negative 48. Um, so when graphing this, when you're graphing an you know, inequality, obviously you don't always have to start your uh, graph at 0. We can start at where your point is, negative 48. But we've got to understand when we're getting to larger values, our negative values. So let's go by tens. If we're going larger, then that would be negative 38. That would be negative 28, negative 18, and negative 8. And smaller values would be negative 58, negative 68, negative 78, and so forth. And this says x is greater than or equal to negative 48. So whenever I'm thinking of negative, I always think of like owing money. So how much money do you have? Do you have more money if you owe negative $48 or if you owe $38? Well, obviously, you have more money if you only owe somebody 38. So the larger numbers are going to the right. So it says x is greater than or equal to negative 48. So since it's equal to, I shade this in. And then all the values that are greater than are going to be the ones that are going towards the positive. So I shade to the right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve and graph your compound inequality. Thanks. You couldn't, you couldn't get a hold of them? No? Did he say he was going to come down? And get you?